In this video, I'm going to show you 5 CapCut tips and tricks that you can implement in your graphic animation. So the first one, let's create your graphic element. If you are a graphic designer, you can create elements in the graphic design software. But if you don't have design experience to create graphics, you can simply find them on internet. Well, in this time, I access motion array to download graphic assets. I'm going to find graphic element here. So, what is motion array? Motion array is a website that supplies creators with basically everything you could possibly need to create a video. From video templates, stock footage, music, sound effects, and more. And the cool thing is that you can download as many files as you want to. Just sign up for a month or a year, you get unlimited download whatever and wherever you want without additional fees. It's very easy to find as you can use keywords to search for the template that you are looking for. You can also use the filters on the left side which can also speed up your search process. Over 50 high quality plugins are included to help you level up your edits, from visual effects, color grading, remove background, and more. And we also have extension for Adobe, which you can download assets directly to your projects. So, do sign up for Motion Array for free, and there are some free assets that you can use in your videos for free. Click the link in the description below. Alright, now let's animate your graphic element. To do that, you can simply keyframe your graphic position, drag the timeline marker, and adjust the position to where you want the graphic to go. Then it will automatically set another keyframe. Now you can also make this animation start and end smooth. Right click the clip layer and show keyframe animation. We can set every keyframe to auto curve. All of these properties like scale and rotage can be animated as well. And the amazing thing, this masking tool can be animated, just keyframe the mask. And make sure, set the keyframes to outer curve. Now, I'm going to show you how to create text animation. I'm going to use auto caption to generate text or caption from my narration. Under templates, you can choose the animation between the one that you like. Let's go ahead with basics, and you can do some minor adjustment like change the font and size. You may have heard about light speed. At our current speed, it would take around four years to get sun. And another way to animate your text is go to animation menu. So I select this one and set the duration to about 1.5 second. And it's time to add effects. This is the main difference that really helps takes your animation to another level. If you see Danko style, there is glow effect which you can find on video effects. And let's type glow. You can choose between edge glow, dreamy glow, or luminance. And adjust the sliders. Then we want to apply this effect to the text as well. So select all the text layer, right click, and create compound clip. And that's it. If you see Iman Gazi style, you probably noticed that there is stop motion effect in his animation. To do that, we are going to video effects. 
Android TV, choose Betamax and bring these sliders all the way down. And there's a lot of video effects that you can apply to your animation. Just try some effects that might be suitable for your animation. So I'm gonna try with Play Pendulum to create floating effect. Just click the link below to join Cupcake Pro Membership so that you can access this Pro Video Effects, filters, transitions, and more. Plus, you can enjoy 100 gigabyte of cloud storage. The last one is Add Overlay. Adding overlay can make the animation visually engaging. Just drag and drop your overlay and change the blending mode depending on your file. So I set it to screen to remove the black screen. And there are many variations of overlays like particle, light leaks, grain, etc. which you can find online. I found these assets in motionarray.com. You may have heard about light speed. At our current speed, it would take around four years to get sun, but at light speed, it would only take eight minutes. So can we travel faster than the light speed? No, we can't. I hope you found this video useful in some way. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I will see you later in the next video.